I'm sure we've all seen that new game, that new free-to-play multiplayer battle royale free-for-all 5v5 game that we've eagerly waited for it to either come out or it has come out and you found out about it on TikTok and everyone's going crazy about it. Example, Splitgate, Hyperscape, World Boss. I mean, the list just goes on. And a lot of people say like, oh, come on, why? Why, why Splitgate? Why did Splitgate have to fail? Why couldn't Splitgate be as big as Fortnite? Why couldn't all these games just be great? Well, all right, you're gonna have to cut in here. Very sorry, but I want to shout out my TikTok because we are like 500 followers away from being able to go live. So if you guys could just follow the TikTok on screen right now, that would be greatly appreciated. But other than that, enjoy the video. The reasoning for why these games just weren't great isn't that they just weren't great. The problem was, is that there's all these free-to-play games that are already out. And if you went to someone and you said, would you rather spend 10 hours playing... Okay, not 10 hours. Would you rather spend 4 hours on weekends, you know, maybe they're not allowed to play on weekdays, playing your favorite game with all your friends so you all enjoy the same game, you're really good at this game, you've gotten to a point where you have gotten used to it and you've, you know, started buying cosmetics, you started buying a bunch of anything really in a game or you've just got a lot of progress that you wouldn't like losing. Do you think that they would like to play a new game that they've bought nothing in, they're bad at, it's completely new to them, they're not used to it and that their friends may not enjoy? No. And I'm not even mad at them for that. It's just that new games, they're just deemed to fail unless it's good enough for people to drop their favorite game. It's like, if you're champion in Siege, why the hell would you stop playing Siege and start playing Splitgate as your competitive game? You're losing all of your ranked progress, you're losing everything that you work towards, just because you th feel like Splitgate's gonna do better or something? If you genuinely enjoy playing the game that you've been playing with your friends that you're really good at and spend a bunch of money in, why would you want to swap games? And this has just happened for Splitgate. It's like, why if someone's already good at Fortnite, why if someone's already bought cosmetics in Fortnite, and why if someone's already been playing with their friends in Fortnite, why would they want to be playing a 5v5 first person shooting portals halo guns? It's too much of a swap and it's not it's not too good of a change to be justified for losing all of your items, all your friends, all of your skill in that said game. And this does sound really sad, but it's just that these all these free to play games, they're not offering something that's new. They're just adding it. It feels like they're just putting it out there. It's like, hey, here's a game where you can shoot portals and use halo guns, but at the end of the day, a first-person shooter is a first-person shooter, so if someone's already good at one first-person shooter, they don't want to be playing another first-person shooter. And obviously, there will be people who do drop their main game to get good at Splitgate, but then you're coming at the risk that the game fails and you've got no one to verse except everyone's just worse than you, the servers start dying, and that game that you're really good at becomes a game where you're just in dead lobbies versing nobody, there's no esports tournaments because the devs have completely quit on the game and the servers will be shutting down in a month. And so you see games like Power World who don't even go for the free to play. They just do their own thing. Well, not really their own thing. That was a lot of Ark and Pokemon copying, but still, you see what I'm getting at. They're not going for this free to play mainstream title that's supposed to replace their favorite game. No, I, d I don't see why people would want to swap their favorite game to play a game that they're not used to. But yeah, I'm sure you've got my point in this video. If there's a game people already enjoy playing, they're good at, they have friends in it, I don't see why they'd want to go play a new game. Maybe it's a bit fun because it has this little silly gimmick like, I don't know, you when you die you turn into a chicken, I don't know, you can shoot portals and go through the portals. But at the end of the day, if someone's already good at a game, they don't want to be playing a game with a gimmick that just gets boring after five plays. So. That's it for the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.